KMR, we're bringing the BRAP. We have got our RX-8 based 13B GSLSE rotor housing hybrid motor build ready to go together. The next video, we will be showcasing the build of this block right here. I just wanted to go over the parts, show everything off we're using because this is a great way to I would still consider this a budget hot rod Renesis based build. Meaning obviously you could build a cheaper motor and obviously you could build a more expensive motor, but we've done our best to use a used Renesis block, used GSLSE rotor housings, and the majority of our compon components were sourced from a used motor. Obviously we're going with new side seals, springs, new bearings. Um, we've lapped our sides, we've honed our rotor housings, which is a newer process available to kind of clean up a used rotor housing. And we put new oil control rings, O-rings, basically all of our rotor parts, our bearings, and what our rotors are going to run on is either new or been resurfaced, refurbished. So we're getting all of these used components back to, I'm not going to say new, but back to the opportunity to have a second go at life. I'm not a big fan of running new components like new apex seals or new side seals on stuff that already has existing wear. So those processes are great if they can be applied to your components and can definitely bring things back into spec. You check out some of the other videos where I talk about that stuff. Um, in this build, we're also going to be using RX-7 depth apex seals because we have cut these rotors for those RX-7 apex seals because they will be crossing over an RX-7 exhaust port. I did upgrade to race or competition deep groove rotor bearings. I like their oil capacity a little more, and I know I'm going to be revving this motor up to 9,000 RPM, if not higher, because that's my plan. I went with stock RX-8 multi-window gears and bearings. Um, perfectly usable. Um, they're hardened from the factory as long as you're using the manual transmission uh, gears. Um, I've never seen any failures on that end. The RX-8 bearings are a little tight, so I did give them a little polish but they're fine out of the box. Um, I'm just being a little cautious because I know I'm gonna go hard on this motor. Um, oil pump, I'm just going with stock oil pump. I'll probably run a aftermarket rear regulator and shim the front cover slightly to bump up total oil pressure. And I did go through and polish oil passages that run into the stationary gears and some of the passages that go into the back of the block. Um, it's always good just to make sure your oil flow is unobstructed. Those are also really important passages to clean. Front cover wise, stock RX-8 front cover. Um, for right now, I think I'm going to put this motor back into an RX-8. Um, I've considered some other options, but I think uh, maybe keeping it in the chassis and then working with that manifold situation um, might also help followers out that are doing similar builds. Um, we are going with the ENJ uh, RX-7 based Apex seals. Have those in stock. I mean, there's a lot of great options out there. I run the ENJs in my uh, Formula Drift cars. I really like them, so I'm going to use them in this build as well. And then as far as water O-rings go, I mean, I always recommend OEM. They're a great option. Um, sometimes I will use Teflon encapsulated O-rings either by customer request or when I know something's going into an extreme duty. Um, and I kind of like those Teflon encapsulated O-rings in Renesis motors at times, um, because we know we do get a lot of extra heat buildup in those exhaust areas. And if I, I turbocharge this motor later on or really get aggressive with it, um, those O-rings will actually uh, not fail uh, to any large degree like factory ones will. But what happens is, is that often then causes the failure to become more significant. So I always tell people just because your water O-ring doesn't fail doesn't mean something else will. Um, so I think in this motor I may uh, may go with those Teflon encapsulated O-rings. I always like running them where I can. 
and uh, I think uh, this is a good application for them. People often ask, do I run them in the Formula Drift cars? No, I'm just running OEM water seals in those 20Bs. Um, you know, it really just depends on the build, uh, depends how often I think I'm taking it apart. Um, and also, you know, there's cost factors. So, you know, options out there. Just like Apex seals, you've got water seal options. You've got bearing options. These are the options we're going with on this build because it's my build and this is the combination I like. Um, we've also got a street port. We didn't go bridge port. And I think that covers the majority of it. You can see we're already on our engine stand head. Um, if you don't know about that, that's available from Mazda Tricks. It puts the center of the block right in the center plane of your engine stand, so you're able to rotate the motor once it's assembled for easy access to all sides of the motor. And it's just a really handy tool. So, like I said, we're going to uh, wrap this wrap up. We're going to wrap on out of here. I just wanted to show the components that are going into the build before we slap this thing together. So I believe the next time everybody is seeing it, we should have an assembled block. So feel free to ask questions about the setup. Um, I did do a rotor assembly video. It's one of the previous videos. Um, I did talk about the porting in previous videos. I talked about the combination of intake ports and side ports and why I like it in previous videos. And I've done my best to uh, showcase what we have done in the past because this is a copy of the motor we ran in Moto IQ Touring Cars uh, multiple years ago, which took the West Coast Championship in its class. So this is not a first time build for us. Um, we're just basically building one again, and this one is a little bit more of a budget version because we've used a lot of used hard parts in conjunction with our new seals and bearings. All right, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Uh, thanks for following. We're going to build this thing this upcoming week. We got some drifting coming up. We're going to Irwindale. Uh, we're going to be posting videos about winning hot pit in our MX-5. We actually got a win with one of our 20B drift cars. Really excited about that. And uh, we just got a lot of content. So watch for all the fun stuff. Wrap, wrap. Bye-bye.